Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the first video of the new year. Happy New Year to you, by the way. Uh, this is the latest from Beanstown 106. It's Jelly Beans build number 8 for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. few things added since the last time he updated. Of course, the uh, 1.4 kernel from uh, iMozion, the lean kernel, he added that in there. Also, the option for best group photo with the Note 2 camera is now in here as well, if you've been missing that one. He added the option for mobile print in S Photo. He also added the weather for the AOSP lock screen, which is pretty cool, and I'll show you in a few minutes. He added the toggle for the um, torch in your lock screen, so you can turn that on, and I'll show you that in just a second. He added back the Samsung Cloud stuff. The CB message in your text messaging is gone, and he also added some uh, AOSP themed framework stuff. So, uh, pretty pretty intensive update, uh, and it's wonderful to see uh, how far this thing has come. AOSP and touch with meet each other is pretty much what this is so if you haven't been on it let's go into the settings first of all we'll go down to about phone show you the android 4.1.1 we're on the vrbl k3 baseband and like i say in my other videos if you do not see vrbl k3 it's not the rom's fault it's your fault you have to flash that separately i'm on the uh, 1.4.1 lean kernel from imozion it's the latest from him you can update that in his thread and just flash it over the top of the 1.4 no big deal and we're on jelly beans build number eight so that's what it looks like in the uh, settings about phone menu. And if you've never been on a Beanstown ROM before, uh, he actually tries to make it look like AOSP, but still giving us all the wonderful TouchWiz options that you get. So you can see it's very quick, very smooth, up and down. Uh, you do have to go into your developer options. You don't have to. Uh, and change your window animation scale, transition, and duration. All those to dot five, and that's going to make things a little bit quicker for you. One thing you do have to do, though, is Beans knows about this. If you're using the stock email, you're going to have to uncheck force GPU rendering if you want the flickering to stop. He's working on that, but that is a known issue right now, and that's in your developer options. Okay, the rest of the stuff you pretty much know about. You do have the custom settings. A lot of people still bitching about the battery bar and the white bar above their time. That's the battery bar in your custom settings. Go in here and you can turn it off. You also have some toggle settings you can change and play with as well. So that is pretty much the settings menu. Let's go back out to the uh, home screen here. Let's pull down the notification bar here, and you can see that uh, there is some theming done. You do have the cyanogen mod uh, colors in your toggles now, the blue, which is an option, no more white. And as you can see, the uh, notifications are square, just like AOSP. You can actually see the square, and you can swipe them off, swipe them off, and no problem. So that's some of the framework, the AOSP framework that he has put in here. Uh, let's check in the Google Now here and make sure the Google Now is working great. Google Now, there we go. There's my traffic, there's my weather, everything that I want in Google Now. So no problems with Google Now at all. wanted to show you the email. It is now black on white. I guess you could call it inverted. Uh, no flickering as long as you get rid of the GPU, force GPU rendering in the developer options. And uh, as you can see, it looks great and wonderful and beautiful and all that good stuff. So there you go. That is what the email looks like, the new email, the stock touch was email. What else do I got? Oh, also wanted to show you the lock screen. The AOSP lock screen with weather enabled. Now they're on the uh, on the front of it. You can see you have the options for unlocking, uh, messaging, search, phone, and camera. I'm going to unlock device so you can see you do have the option of the AOSP lock screen or the TouchWiz lock screen if you want to. All right. Let's check on GPS and make sure GPS is working great. I am inside of a building, so it might be a little bit less than if I was actually outside under bare sky. 14 out of 18, not too bad, right? Let's go to the uh, Google Maps and make sure that it's got us in the right location. I know it's a thing of the past usually, but I check anyway, making sure that it doesn't have me five miles away from my location. And as you can see, I'm right there at work, so it's definitely working as far as that's concerned. So uh, uh, that's pretty much it. A beautiful ROM, definitely worth flashing if you get a chance to. Let's go into System Tuning here and check out the kernel. You can uh, overclock up to 1.9 gigahertz, go down to 384 megahertz. And if you go into your voltages and they're all set at 1150, which they will be in the beginning, voltages. Uh, you're going to need to do something in Terminal Emulator. If you haven't done this yet or you're new to it, I'll show you real quick. Go into Terminal Emulator, type in SU, enter. Okay, then you're going to type in LK config. LK config. Hit enter. You're going to get some options that come up here. Stock behavior, remove the above vmin override, or revert system to stock. You're going to want to put in number two, and override bypass, which means you can go back over to your system tuner or whatever you're using to overclock and undervolt, and you can 
undervolt and be able to save your settings without them bouncing back to 1150. So that's what you got to do if you haven't done it. Excuse me, already. The reason they have to do that is because some phones are slow, nominal, or fast, and need different amounts of juice in order to keep everything running right. So uh, he just did that as a safety net, putting the minimum voltages at 1150. And if you want to override them, you can by going into Terminal Emulator, typing SU Enter and LK Config, choosing option two. Other than that, everything's looking good. The beans build, Jelly Beans build number eight is a wonderful build. It looks like AOSP. It's themed like AOSP. It gives you all the options of TouchWiz at the same time, so it's kind of a best of both worlds. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos over at YouTube.com, Android University, all the latest and greatest reviews for the Samsung Galaxy S3. And thanks for watching today. Sorry about my voice. Uh, I, I'm not sick, but for some reason my voice is going away. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. See ya.